Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card, we are doing a part two to the video I did two weeks ago, which was the higher self of the father. And we are looking at today, guys, the any messages from the higher self of the mother. It has been a minute before I ended up doing it, so apologies for that. But this type of reading, you know, they're very healing. There's a lot of space held and it can get very emotional. As you guys probably saw with the higher self of the father, like there was tears shed, you know what I mean? And I process a lot in those readings. So I needed to make sure that I was in the right condition to be able to channel those messages for you um because i didn't want to come to it like not correct because it's a lot of weight and energies and these subjects are so sensitive and soft i like to make sure that i'm really prepared for these types of readings so that's why it's been a little bit more of a wait um but thank you guys for bearing with me so what we're looking at today is the messages from the higher self of your mother now when i say mother that can be an, an array of things it could be an older sibling that you look at as a mother that could be your biological mother the you know a stepmother just someone who raised you that was a female figure a grandmother um that's what we're taking a look at today and it doesn't matter if you know this mother figure that you're trying to connect to has passed on it doesn't matter if the mother figure that we're trying to connect to has just never been in your life or they've been back and forth whatever the case and whoever you want to channel keep them in mind while i'm connecting and while you're picking your pile and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today and yeah i'm just going to do what i can to relay as much messages as i can whether it's to bring you peace clarity to bring a wound to the surface whether to just you know bring you happiness and you know joy or whether it's just to hold space for you as we you know work through the emotions that's what we're doing today so i want to say before i begin that's it's going to be quite triggering for some um so trigger warning because we're really probably going to get quite deep in some of the readings um so if you're not in the right mental space for it that's completely fine you can click off and watch you know another video that's completely fine um just use this video for when you're called to it okay um so we have four piles for you guys to choose from pile one is the carnelian pile number two is the clear quartz geode Pile number three is the Labdarite Slice. And pile number four, if I can get these straight, pile number four is the Pink Moss Agate. So see which one of these crystals you guys are drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as always. And I will see you guys at your timestamp. Hey pal one, welcome to your reading. So today we're taking a look at what messages the higher self of your mother has for you today. You guys chose the carnelian. I'm going to pop that up here and we are going to get straight in. Um, straight away I am being shown birds. Um, so if you were in one of my pals like the other day or if i've ever said to you in readings like i'm seeing birds for you or crows or anything like that just take that as confirmation that that's your pile um because there's a lot of like emphasis on birds as i'm tapping into you guys you may be really connected to them or you may have a spirit totem of a bird um because that's coming through so pile number one spirit guides tap me into the collective of pile number one i'm being told right now you're actually um actively healing something with your mother we're gonna get deeper into it of course but they're showing me the spiral of healing and it's like activating in the sense that there's a wound or there is something whether it's something your mother had placed on you an expectation your mother had placed on you um a wound that was inflicted on you or maybe you're not in contact with your mother we'll get into it and i'll, I'll tap deeper in but the first thing i'm greeted with is this the the um the symbol of healing you know that swirling symbol um and i'm being shown energies being purged out as we kind of speak so that's something that's actively happening right now um pile number one please for guides tap me into pile number one's mother's higher self tap me into pile number one's mother's higher self what messages does pile number one's mother's higher self have to say so pile number one today what messages does pile number one's mother's higher self have to deliver today messages from pile number one's mother's higher self okay we have the tower straight away i'm being like when i'm trying to tap into 
like your mother's like energy it's like they do, not that they don't want to talk but it's hard to pull emotion out you know because i sit in emotion and i feel emotion and that's one of the main ways that i'll channel they're almost like there's like a resistance of them embodying emotions um and it's not that their emotions are not there it's almost a feeling of like emotions being trapped and then a lot of heavy weight on top of it. It's like their emotions would be at the bottom of this tower and instead of allowing the tower to crawl, um, to fall to the ground so that they can finally make peace with everything that's around them and really connect to those emotions, it's like, I'm scared of this tower falling, so I'm going to keep holding it up. So I don't know whether when you were, I'm actually being told like, you may have been like emotionally suppressed as a child when you would express emotion when you would express like hurt or pain or anything like that your emotions then were repressed like you may find that you would talk about things to your mother like I went through this or I went through that or this made me feel some type of way and you may have found like in the physical in the 3d your mother would kind of shut you down or try and maybe even gaslight you some of you guys it would have even been gaslighting or they would have been like it didn't happen that way or don't get emotional why are you being emotional why are you bringing this up and there's one message that's coming through like straight away from the higher self of your mother like there is an apology about that and what i'm being told is you feel quite emotional you feel like you you take on a lot of emotion you feel like you have no problem embodying your emotional body and i feel like your mother that's something that they would like to embody it's something that they would find peace with being able to body their own emotions but i feel like they by maybe their own parent were taught to repress anything that didn't look like pretty or didn't look um very good for the family like there's this feeling of i've gone through this i've gone through that or my job like i hate my job but i can't leave i have to save face so like there was just so much like burden that they would like bury down and bury down and bury down and i feel like there was a lot of hurt and neglect within themselves in regards to their own parents and it was like put down and placed down and placed down and placed down until there was so much over it that they could no longer even feel it but it was still bubbling under the surface and the thing about you is you reflect and you carry those wounds because that's called generational karma it kind of filters through and i feel like the difference with you is i feel like you're putting a stop to that and to put a stop to it we have to feel these emotions once and for all and honor them and purge them out and what i'm being told is every time that you honor those emotions every time that you tap into those emotions which is beautiful and it's needed and that's you doing the right thing and being able to purge them out and honor them and being told in the physical because i do feel like your mother is still like on the physical plane i'm being told like that would trigger your mother because it was something that they never felt strong enough to do and it, i feel like you're very raw with your emotions or at least the things that you'll say whether you mean it or not it's not like an, an aggressive way it's just you speaking truths like you'll say this hurt me or you didn't mother me the way that you should have or you didn't nurture me the way that you should have and the thing is is that they know this they feel that power one but it's like they didn't have it either, but they didn't have the guts to speak out up about it or honor that within themselves. So when they hear you say it and it's so raw, you're saying things that their wounded inner child has been too scared to say. And it's almost like they'll shut it down and run from it because then to actually take that on board and understand that and accept that that's how you felt too, they've then got to accept that they felt it. And to do that would cause an entire tower to fall because of everything that they would have built up they'd have to come to that realization within themselves and allow that tower to fall and feel the like percussions of that and they are scared to do that they're scared to tap in to that emotional body and they want to let you know um whether you're speaking to them or not because there's a feeling of maybe being a little bit restrained from them like not having the best relationship or there's a distance maybe it's just the emotional distance i'm picking up on it's not that this person is like a flat out narcissist and, and cut off to their emotions there's so much of it deep down it's just that there's such a wounded in a child like their shadow selves kind of enlarged and they live out of that and it doesn't make them happy um and it's 
I just feel I'm picking up like the highest off of your mother. It's coming through to say like in this physical incarnation, I am very wounded. I'm holding on to a lot and I am resisting a rebirth. I'm resisting a change because I am scared to feel those feelings. There's too much of them to pent up. And there's too much of them pent up for me to purge. But you felt them and you're healing that. And there is a grace and a gratitude coming through, which I'll probably get deeper into as I lay more cards of like, and it's not even just coming from you. It's a lot of the females. Uh, whether you're a male or female watching this, it's a lot of the females in your family line coming through to like say thank you for allowing yourself to feel them, for being that like bearer of change because they weren't strong enough. And it's not that they weren't strong enough. They were just too scared to do that. And you did that, you know, and there's a there's a gratitude there um let me it, it's i'll probably have a hard i hope i'm executing everything perfectly it's just that i i can't sit in their emotions because they're so buried my my spirit guides won't allow me to get under that tower to sit in it um too much so what's happening is your instead of just direct channeling the higher self of your mother is going through to my spirit guides to channel through me i hope that's making sense because there's a lot there's there really is a lot that, that that's goes on in um your mother's like internal world um and lots of regrets um let's get deeper pile number one but that's why i might stop and stall and things like that it's because i'm not i'm not embodying these full emotions i'm just passing on the energy and through pile number one which i feel is like a reflection of what you've dealt with your entire life as well it's like i want to connect with you emotionally because this is like a factory setting for me i embody these emotions and it almost feels like there's no one home and maybe in your childhood you internalized that as rejection and there's an apology coming through that you would have internalized that as rejection they know that they should have been more nurturing but again it's like you can't give something to someone that you've never received yourself because you don't know how to embody it you know if you've never seen people that were confident in in your whole childhood you're probably going to lack confidence growing up because you're a byproduct of you know what you're surrounded with unless you actively choose to change this person didn't actively choose to change that because they didn't know how you know pile you may have even had like a savior energy towards your own mother like i can help you i can fix you i want to you know I want to open you up. I want to find that, you know, light within you. I, I want to do that. There may have been some time in childhood where you did that. Let me get some more cards. Otherwise, I'll keep um, talking before channeling. So let me just lay the next three cards and then I'll channel more. Pile one, please, spirit guides. Pile number one, please, spirit guides. What messages does pile number one's mother's higher self have to say? Queen of wands. Is your mother quite fiery or do they have a lot of fire energy in their chart aries sagittarius leo it doesn't matter if they don't um it doesn't matter if they don't it could just be like a very fiery person pile number one what messages does pile number one's mother's higher self have to say what message does pile number one's mother's higher self the magician okay what messages does Pile Number One's mother's higher self? They're referencing you as the rose that grew from the concrete. Um, six of Wands at the back of the deck. Yeah, they're referencing you as the rose that grew from the concrete. Like, all expectations were there for you to kind of go the same route and you chose a different path. That's a, a strong message coming through. There is a lot of gratitude coming through that you've done that. Um, so, so guys, why is the Queen of Wands, the Magician and the Ten of Wands here as well? A lot of wands. There's a lot of fire energy coming through. It was... Mm, I feel like the higher self of your mother is coming through to say that in this lifetime, in this 3D, I am in the embodiment of my shadow and my wounded inner child, which has me being very explosive being very nitpicky being very frustrated and angry because there's so much repressed and there's an apology coming through to you that 
I feel like they would have argued with you a lot. Maybe in your childhood, maybe in your teens, maybe even now. Maybe there's an argument that's happened and you don't speak. Or maybe you had a very volatile relationship with your mother. And there's an apology coming through and the higher self is coming through to say that they know that this is wrong. Um, but what it is, and they want to give you an explanation to give you peace of mind. They're telling me a lot of you already know this, but they just want me to confirm it. That when we go through trauma, sometimes especially when we don't actively choose to heal it or we don't know how to heal it, our mind and our mental state will kind of be stunted in growth. The same way like when people can be stunted in growth physically, our emotions and our mental energy will be stunted in growth. And what happens then is our mind will look at life through the eyes of that wounded inner child no matter what at what point that happens. And I feel like wounds within your own mother happened very young it would have happened below the age of 10 so there is a very childlike way of them looking at life but it's so engulfed in shadow there's so much frustration that i feel like them stepping into that adult role of a mother they weren't like equipped mentally to do it because they still had the kind of like mental age or emotional age of someone that was a lot younger so what then resulted was them using little tactics that they would have picked up from their own parents that were very unhealthy. Maybe it was gaslighting. Maybe it was bullying to some extent. Maybe they used you as a therapist to explain everything that went on in their life. Maybe they um, took out a lot of their frustration on you. You know, maybe they maybe even got to the sense of like forms of abuse for some, you know, and trigger warning, but that, that may have happened. That's what I'm being told for some of you guys. And especially mental, I feel like some of you guys wouldn't even look at it that way, but it does feel like a little bit of like mental abuse or someone just really inflicting a lot of emotions and pain onto you. And it, it, the thing is, is that you feel it. So you're taking it all on and you're feeling it. And I feel like you took on a lot as a child and they're referencing that and saying that they were stuck in that childlike mind which is why they were doing it and that it's not an excuse do not allow that to excuse their behavior um because you have a you're very empathic i feel like you would look at it from a higher lens they're saying don't excuse it but i need you to understand it as that's why because i don't want you to internalize a lot of what i've inflicted and then maybe take on that i i feel like you haven't but that, that there's a worry uh, there was always a worry especially from the higher self that you would have taken on those wounds and taken on the little traits and tactics that they would have done and then used that in your own life of like gaslighting or maybe manipulating or being mean or flying off the handle at, at, at any word and maybe you did embody them at times in your childhood but they're almost referencing that you've grown out of that and you've made it past that point and you've grown into like a woman or a man like you've grown up emotionally and they're like clapping and, and kind of like rejoicing in that that you were able to do that and that that energy hasn't isn't going to trickle down onto your own children but they are referencing that that was not how a parent should have treated their child they are aware of it and they are sorry it's like when you know better you do better and they did not know better and they didn't know where to turn to do better like there's this feeling of I was taught to shh, I was taught to bury it all down and that's what I did and what resulted was chaos and I'm hearing the Eminem song headlights um and he he raps this lyric and it's like I don't know he says something like our house was like I I don't know the word but he says like the house was like a warfare it was like chaotic there was like a tumultuous energy at home like he's referencing that about his own mother Eminem is in that song if you want to go listen to it headlights and that lyrics come kind of coming through in the sense that there was just like a lot that went on and there was just so much that was being inflicted onto you and there is there is regret but they keep referencing that you are like a bone healer the fact that you were able to weather that and be able to heal it and change it and shift it, they are referencing that you're a born healer and that you um, you taking on that weight and choosing to shift it and change it. It's not just a case of, oh, I've stopped, you know, that energy coming through, like my mother did and now I did it. No, that has been trickling down from your grandparents, your great grandparents. That's been going on for so long. And the reason that you've purged so much is because you've just been purging out generational 
karma. I don't like to say curses, but generational karma. That those wounds, that feeling of I'm not worthy because I'm not being nurtured that way. I'm not lovable because I'm not being nurtured that way. The only way that I can receive any sort of good doing is if I give, give, give and sacrifice myself. So I have to do that for my own mother. So now I'm doing it for all of my relationships and all of my friends. Like you took on so much, but you've been shifting and changing it to become like a queen. They're referencing like king, queen. You've, you've taken it on to kind of rebirth. And there's so much like pride and there's like an apology that they weren't able to be there for you in the way that they should have. Um, but they're saying that you're... You are a born healer, but it's not your responsibility to heal me. That's what they're saying. This is my problem. This is my issues. And the only person that can allow this tower to fall and actually feel it is me. There is nothing that you ever could have done. And they're saying this would be healing for your inner child to hear. There is nothing that you ever could have done. No amount of love that could have been given that would have had that tower break and would have got through to their emotions because they had to do it. And I feel like you self-inflicted that, like, I'm not worthy. Why can't I fix this person? And maybe you try to fix everybody else then because you just couldn't fix that one person, which was your mother. And they're referencing the same way it's not your job to heal and fix me. It's not your job to heal and fix others. The relationships you have with others, the friendships that you have with others, they're not supposed to be in your life because they need you. They're supposed to be in your life because they want to be in your life and they value you. And I'm sorry I couldn't teach that, but I hope these messages hit is the message coming through like the people in your life are supposed to value you love you for you not love you for the healing energy you give them or then you know the nurturing or the handouts that you give them they're supposed to love you for you um and i feel like you're learning it but they wanted to validate that there's a lot of like they know this but i have to validate that for them um that it would be healing to have that validated um why have we got the magician and the ten of wands please spirit guides why have we got yeah the magician they're referencing you as being an alchemizer you've taken pain you've channeled it into wisdom you've transmuted it into wisdom you've shifted that's why the magician is here i do feel as well though another message is coming through with a magician card as well is that on top of maybe your mother in this lifetime being very fiery and very volatile i feel like they would have used certain manipulation tactics so maybe they saw like, the thing is, you were very nurturing with them. So I feel like they almost saw that you would embody emotions. And I do feel like there was a sense of manipulation. Like, if I make this person or if I make anybody feel bad for me, they'll do for me. And I feel like, uh, especially a lot in your childhood, it was like, I'm going to give them a lot of emotion. I'm going to make their breakfast for them. I'm going to raise my own siblings. I'm going to do all of these things and, and step into that role. Um, And I feel like they would have... I, I almost feel like maybe as a child, like maybe you'd want to go to a sleepover or go to like the park with your friends, doing normal things that children should do. And there's almost this feeling of like a mother energy coming in and guilt tripping. You can't do that because I'll be on my own. You can't do that because I need you to do this. Like it's almost like a bit like Cinderella, like you got to clean the house. Like it's that type of thing. Like they'd all, almost guilt trip you, but more so in the sense of I'll be on my own. I'll be on my, why, why would you? leave or why would you do that i'll be on my own and there is like a manipulation tactic that they use and they're referencing it their higher self is referencing that they still do it even to you when you're in their life and they want you to be wary of it because it's like they don't even realize that they're doing it it's something that they were taught but their higher self is coming through to let you know don't allow them to make you feel sorry or feel bad for them and then overextend yourself and sacrifice yourself for them. You know what I mean? Especially, and I feel like that's rooted from childhood. I feel like there was a lot of things that you wanted to go and do, but then it was like this restraint to maybe that parent. Like, I can't leave this person on their own. I can't um, go and do these fun things that I should be enjoying as a child. I almost feel like your childhood was taken away. Um, and the highest of your mother as well is saying to make sure to continue to embody your inner child to this day all of those things that would have been repressed from childhood like that your inner child didn't get allow yourself to have them and allow yourself to feel them they're saying that this will aid your healing journey um it's so like i was saying i was feeling like there's an active healing going on with you guys and if you guys are feeling kind of like low where you're not seeing the light in life the highest self of your mother is saying to find time to nurture your inner child and give the childhood to your inner child right now it's never 
you can never be too old to like give that whether it's just dancing in your room going and doing something fun going to a theme park like make sure you're nurturing your inner child because they deserve a lot that i couldn't give um is a message coming through i do feel like you mothered your own um mother to be honest with you whether you're male or female it's like this nurturing role that you would have taken on and maybe with siblings as well why would the ten of wands yeah i almost feel like i'm hearing like lost cause like i feel like you've had to really battle between your head and your heart with this connection pile one i feel like you've tried to keep like a positive outlook on this connection with your parent i i really do feel that you have and with the six of wands being at the back of the deck like do you see how he's here and he's being celebrated and then we have the people like clapping for him in the background i feel like that's your ancestors clapping clapping for you for doing that healing work the fact that they're on a horse this horse represents freedom it's like you're walking to freedom you're liberating yourself and it's like your ancestors are in the background like clapping for you and being grateful for you you have a lot of like your family in spirit like higher self wise watching your moves and kind of like clapping for you and the fact that we have the ace of cups i feel like this healing work that you're doing is leading you to emotional fulfillment whether that's a soulmate connection whether that's just finding love and fulfillment in your work or your job or just in life in general i really do feel like this healing journey that you're on it's taking you to the ace of cups this fulfillment of love and emotion that you would have been repressed from from childhood it's like you're pouring that back into yourself um and the universe is kind of guiding you i feel like you it's not like you have a manual that you're doing it like i need to do this 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 or that i feel like you're just listening to your intuition listening to your emotions and allowing them to take you where you need to go whether that's purging and feeling the weight of emotions sometimes or whether that's you know you know crying being angry whatever the case or rest and it's like i feel like you're listening to your intuition and allowing the healing journey to just take you like water and they're saying you're on the right track um so i do feel like you're watched very close but with this ten of wands it's like don't the highest of your mother is coming through to say don't force um there's going to be no good in forcing me this is what they're saying there's going to be no good in forcing me in this 3d in this lifetime to embody my emotions and reach that light i can only be the one to do it and the more you rebirth and the more you tap into that softer side the more that you tap into your heart the more that you rebirth and shift and move forward and pass that on to your children the more that's leaving space for me to learn through you i may not say anything i may not you know actively do much that you can see on the surface but just me watching you shift and change you're teaching me how it's supposed to be done and i'm sorry that i couldn't teach you that but there's a gratitude because that they there's something about in the physical like whether you speak to your mother or not they do keep tabs on you and they have noticed a shift and a change in you they've noticed that maybe when they try and quit but you are trying to take your energy you're kind of shutting it down um and then noticing it and they may even try like some manipulation tactics I'm hearing to kind of pull you back into your old energy. But I feel like you're becoming wiser to that. You're realizing when they're trying to argue with you, they're trying to pull on your energy, trying to get some energy and you're shutting down. And the more you're doing that and the more you're connecting to that peace within you, the more they're seeing it and they're like, wait, how, how are they doing this? You know what I mean? I'm not saying that in this lifetime, like they're saying, I'm not making any promises that in this lifetime, I let this tower fall and feel anything. But you doing you and doing what you're doing so beautifully it is leaving space for me to see different that i've never seen before and there is a gratitude and like a warm hug coming through like thank you like you are showing them how to do that but at the same time it's like bittersweet because then there's this guilt that overrides then like i i should have taught them that i should have i know i should have taught them that and there's that feeling um but i'm also being told like your descendants because they're coming through like children that you'll have in this lifetime or maybe even like the higher self of siblings that you've helped raise they're almost looking at you like oh you really did that you really shifted you really changed i want you to know that they're very proud ancestors here very proud descendants future children younger siblings whatever the case they're very very proud of you and there's a lot of like love there it's like you've changed the tides and there's so much rejoicing and so much gratitude and so much pride coming through. And I wish you could feel that the fact that you were able to weather all of that and transmute it. You had everything against you and everything there to turn you dark, to complete, like, continue the cycle and you didn't allow it. 
and there is a lot of gratitude a lot of gratitude pile one um pile number one please for your guides in regards to like the connection patching up i feel like th with your mother there needs to be some sort of distance for there to be any sort of healthy bond so i don't know if you live with that parent but i almost feel like when you'd move out and you can really like even further assert boundaries or create like a block so that they can tug on you so much i feel like the connection would get healthier um but what as it stands right now and what i'm tapping into right now there is such resistance to feeling emotions but they're not cold i've tapped into people that have completely dis disembobulated their emotional body cut off to it it's no longer a part of them they've experienced soul loss and it's no longer a part of them that isn't this energy coming through it's not that they're evil um it th their emotional body is still attached to them but there's just a block in the way they hide it as much as possible um that's what's coming through like they're not evil or haven't turned like completely dark it's just it, it it's just there's there's almost like fractures in their soul like of soul loss where they would have been through wounding and pain and didn't know how to bring that light back to them pile num and then they would fill it with vices i feel like your the highest self of your mother may have been addicted to something or they would have filled it with vices whether it's food tv gambling um alcohol like whatever the case they would have filtered those wounds from childhood with something else pile number one please spirit guides what messages does pile number one from mother's higher self oh we've got these two cards that fell we have grounding so with this grounding card it's very much um going over what i just said about sometimes they'll try and pull on your energy because they learned as a child i'm not gonna get nurturing i'm not gonna get healing i'm not gonna get that motherly love but if i kick up a fuss if i poke at this person i can get some sort of emotion back and i feel like that's the emotion that they would have learned through their parents um if i play up and i'm naughty or if i am mean then they're gonna emotionally respond to me and then i get some energy and that's the only energy i know to get so that's the energy i'm gonna set out to get and i feel like they would pu like pull you out of your energy and would still try to pull you out of your energy and there's a reference to keep grounding keep some black crystals on you black obsidian black tourmaline on you red jasper make sure that you are grounded and do not let them take you out of your energy R like remember to observe not absorb and realize it's an energy grab they're trying to pull on your energy to get that reaction because it's the only way that they know to feel any sort of emotion back or love back it's it's it kind of like volatile you know so they're referencing that really strong to make sure that you're grounded we have integration um here with the snake here so like i was saying you've rebirthed i feel like everything that you would have been taught you are rewiring your brain mentally physically spiritually emotionally when i tapped in there was so much healing going on i feel like you're not even aware of the weight that you're healing um and how far back generation wise it goes um and they're referencing how much like skin you're shedding here and how much that's the healing symbol here look guys at the top the spiral that's what i literally saw um if you could see as i was tapping into you guys so you're doing beautifully as well you are doing beautifully pile number one please for guides pile number one tap me into the higher self of pile number ones we have growth i mean it's kind of self-explanatory they're referencing your growth and how grateful that they are um yeah and you see these leaves here as well they're orange and black they look like autumn leaves it's like you're allowing the old to fall away so you can bud again um and if you're in pain or you're feeling numb right now know it will pass that's what happens when we release all of these traumas that they're holding on to their grandparents are holding on to great great grandparents it was all repressed and then it's yours and then you're like purging all of that out yo holding up a weight here you know what i mean to to, to really let that out it takes a lot of courage to do that and know that i'm proud of you as well pal one um am i using both of the i'm gonna use both of these cards actually i wasn't going to but since they both fell i feel like truth what was i saying about birds as well but yeah look we have truth guys it's like you're 
you're realizing a lot of what you were taught when you were younger, how you were taught to treat your own self, how you were taught relationships were supposed to go. It wasn't the truth. It wasn't right. And you're learning that and you're shifting it and you're changing it and you're bringing a new truth, your own truth. You know what I mean? And that in itself is healing. I wasn't supposed to be treated that way. I'm not supposed to give, 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 give and then not receive anything back. I'm not supposed to um, try and compete for attention or be allowed for attention. I'm not supposed to do those things. That's going to come to me effortlessly and easily in peace. I don't have to live like that. I don't have to be angry. It's, it's like you're, you're realizing a lot of truths and I feel like you would have found a lot of hard truths in this lifetime pile um one i'm picking up a lot of aquarius energy from you guys we have perception as well with the yin yang symbol the thing is with the yin yang symbol we have dark and light and to get to that light we have to see our darkness heal it understand it love it to come to that light spirituality isn't sparkles and rainbows it's becoming the best version of us by understanding our dark side and our negative so we can shift and change that and that's something that you're doing and with perception as well i feel like the more you do that the more you're having a new perception of life it's like you're being rebirthed it's like a new incarnation again it's like you're seeing life through a different set of eyes and that's something that's going on for you um with the perception card so let's see what we've got at the back of the deck yeah we have sacred space and we have the healing symbol again um sacred space your energies the reference in here do you see how it's like boxed in they the highest of your mother keeps referencing for you to protect your energy ground your energy you know what i mean man uh, not manifesting visualizing a an aura of light around you to protect you from outside energies because you have very pure energy and you take on a lot you're a true empath um you're class sentient you take on emotions you're very connected to your own emotional body make sure that you're protecting it um is the message from the higher self of your mother pal number one and there's a reference coming through at the end as well just to say like i do love you that's something that they want me to reference i do love you i just was never taught what love was um, so I was never able to understand it and even take it into my own being to just pass on but know that I do love you but it's in my own way because it's the only way that I understand um, that's the message to end the reading um, and they're, ref they're, they're showing me um, the scene from Moana when Moana restores the heart of Defiti and you know when she puts the green heart back into Tafiti's body if you haven't seen it it's you can type it in on youtube the clip know who you are by moana but Tafiti turns in because her heart's taken away from her she turns into this really explosive fiery kind of like being you know what i mean this volcanic being and she's kicking off she's causing fires she's raging and moana finds her heart and she calls her and um she sings to her this is not who you are who you truly are and as Tafiti stops she places the heart back to Tafiti and then the flames the lava all of that pain because her heart's restored the flames and everything fall to her feet and she stands there like as this mother Gaia being with her heart restored full of love again and as the high self of your mother was leaving it was like I was shown that green heart being placed back to you it's like in regards to like your lineage and all of that pain and that volatile energy and that anger it's like you're restoring that heart so i feel like that clip would be really healing for you so if you've um once you finish this type it on youtube moana know who you are i feel like that entire clip would be really really healing for you um but yeah that's what i have for you pal number one i really hope i was able to bring you peace with this reading i really hope that this reading helped you um hit the thumbs up and comment down below if it did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so today we are taking a look at what messages the higher self of your mother have for you um so yeah i'm just gonna pop this crystal up here i'm gonna start with tarot and we are gonna get straight in um, so spirit guides can you tap me into the collective of pile number two and the higher self of pile number two's mother um i'm hearing the faith hill song there you'll be um which is kind of referencing to me that for some of you guys, maybe, I, I don't know whether some of you guys, like your mother would have suffered from like a mental illness or a physical illness, where they would have been restricted in some way, or I'm literally being shown like, um, an illness and then them passing over, or I'm just being shown like the higher realms in a sense that 
this person that you're inquiring about, whether it's like a grandmother, mother, whatever the case, they're coming through from the higher realms. The energy just kind of went very angelic. Um, and that's how it feels. We'll get into it and we'll see what goes on. But that's something that I picked up straight away with you guys as collective. It, there was coming from pound number one, there's this shift in energy. And I feel like I'm walking on air, literally. I just feel like I'm in a in a higher place and I, I'm at peace, you know. Um, so let's get into it. Pile number. Did you watch this parent like suffer or go through something really heavy? Or maybe they they did pass away and you worry about them, pal, too. Because there's a feeling of wanting to let you know that even if they're going through something or maybe they're not in your life or maybe there's there was some sort of accident or whatever the case, they keep wanting me to reference straight away. Like, I am okay, I am at peace. I want you to know that so that that can bring peace to you. Um, because it's, it's, it's coming through as well. Like, I don't know whether someone's, like, mother is in a situation where they can't verbally speak or they, they, they may have like Alzheimer's or there's something like that. And there's this reference of the higher self coming through and the soul saying like, I'm intact, I'm fine. This doesn't change anything. And I am at peace all is well. Like there's still a feeling of that. They're wanting me to keep like relaying that to you. Like I'm at peace, I'm okay. Do not worry about me, I am okay. Uh, really strong. So let me lay the cards and then we'll channel more because I'll talk for days so pile number two they keep showing me the sign pisces um so they may have been a pisces or you may have been a pisces or you may have a lot of pisces in your chart or 12th house placements it's okay if you don't um or that fifth house may have been in pisces because they're taking me to like fifth house and pisces energy um which they could be referencing that you're a pisces because you're their child that makes sense um it doesn't matter if you're not by the way this is a general reading but there's a lot of you that I'm channeling for. Um, pile two, please, spirit guides. What messages does pile number two's mother's higher self have to say? Page of wands. Yeah, they're coming through to say that their higher self was watching over you. Or their spirit, their being is watching over you. I am aware of what you're doing. I am guiding you. I am with you. Guys, for a lot of you guys, this energy is coming through like your mother would have passed on or is not able to speak with you or is far apart from you maybe you're traveling um somewhere and they're like watching from afar there is a feeling of distance but then they're also referencing you could say physically distance but heart wise i'm right here with them like it's it's that's how it's coming through whether you're traveling whatever the case you, you don't see each other much or whether they have genuinely passed on it's like they are very much aware of what you're up to what you're doing and guiding you in some way or watching over you you know that saying like your grandmother's prayers are still protecting you it's like that type of energy like this that, that it's the reminding me of like harry from harry potter and like the mother lily she created like this protection charm which had harry not end up being killed and even when she passed away like that protection charm was still there and ended up giving the scar there's a feeling of that, like I'm watching over you, I am protecting. Um, and they keep, do you notice how I keep saying it? It's because they keep mentioning it like, this needs to be like a peace of mind. This needs to, like, I need to give them peace of mind. I'm, I'm with them in their heart. I'm still here. Um, pile number, the number three may be significant because we have three mountains in the distance. Um, pile number... Two, please for guides what messages does pal number two's mother's higher self the higher front guys i truly believe that this is like a mother or a grandmother coming through as a spirit guide um that would have passed over because they're coming through as part of your spirit team and letting you know they're still guiding you they're still mothering you i'm part of your spirit team i'm with you yeah let me lay the other two cards and then we'll see what they have to say pile Number two, please, spirit guides. What does pile number two's mother's higher self? Knight of Cups reversed. What does pile number two's mother's higher self have to say to pile two? Six of Cups reversed as well. Yeah, they're almost referencing like you really miss them. Thinking back to old memories, thinking back to childhood. 
there's this feeling of like where have you gone like I, I need you with me and they keep referencing I'm here I am here I am right with you I'm still with you back of the deck we have the ten of pentacles yeah guys if this is um a parent or a grandmother that would have passed over with this ten of pentacles they're referencing that they're in peace if this is someone that is not able to verbally speak or has you know it almost feels like that it almost feels like i'm put, being put in an energy like i'm looking at them and they're like a shell like they could have alzheimer's like it's like they're a shell of like their former self um they keep wanting to reference whatever one aligns with you they are at peace with this ten of pentacles the way that they're making me embody there is love like when i connect to the higher realms it's this feeling of love i feel it in my heart chakra it's the most beautiful feeling and they're making me feel it and that's where they are that's where their soul is that's how they're coming through and the more you tap they're saying the more you tap into that heart and you allow yourself to feel these feelings you can rejoice in that energy with me because i am with you I am still walking with you. I am with you. I'm literally being shown somebody like weeping, crying on their own. And it's like this, this mother figure right next to them. Whether this is grandmother, auntie, whoever, right next to them, you know? Going out and, you know, partying or whatever. It's like I'm walking around protecting this person. Like there's this feeling of that. They're with you very strong because they've kind of like assigned on to be a spirit guide for you. Or you and siblings there's there's this feeling of that like my work on earth even though the physical side of it's done spiritually it's not because now i'm assigned to them as their guide and i'm going to be with them as their guide so there's this strong reference that i'm all around you because i am still guiding you um and i don't know whether something would have even happened recently or whether it's still painful for you that it feels like recently because there's this feeling of like being grief stri stricken so then I can't um I'm finding it harder because of that grief stricken energy to tap into the energy of this 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 person um of this female of this person it's like I can't I can't see these little symbolisms that they're showing me because I am weeping because I am so hurt because I'm so distraught and they're saying let it out let it flow like a river let it out um but there's this energy coming through that they want you to like live your life there's this feeling like you may still be thinking with the six of cups as well and the knight of cups reverse maybe feeling like things were left unsaid or why couldn't it have been this way or what if i could have done more or what if they could have stayed and there's this feeling of allowing that to be purged out and allowing it to like be let be because there's this feeling of to get on with my life to love again to have like a c connection with other people to be like my happy self again I feel like I'm leaving them behind and they're referencing that's not leaving me behind because I am with you and that's what I want for you you're supposed to enjoy life and be happy and be in the moment and meet new people and embrace that energy do not and this isn't even just in regards to them too maybe you've had a connection as well that's really hurt you because there's an emphasis of you guys thinking back to the past whether it's with them or whether it's a connection that you had with someone or whether it's both and they're like do not allow that to keep you stuck do not allow it to stop you living your life like allow yourself to be set free it's not leaving me behind it's not forgetting about me because you th there's no such thing because they're telling me as well these emotions that you're feeling do you want to know why you're feeling those emotions because there is love there you wouldn't have those feelings of emotion and sadness if there wasn't love there and the thing about love is it's eternal and it doesn't die so maybe the tears may stop falling at one point but that doesn't mean that you've forgotten and you're not honoring them because that love is still there. That love isn't going to go out. That You're not going to forget about them. But they want you to rejoice in the life that you have and love the life that you have. They want you to do that. Maybe they are suffering with Alzheimer's in this lifetime right now or they're suffering with something that is keeping them kind of like bed stricken. And there's this reference from the higher self like, I know you're doing all that you can and I love that, but don't burden yourself or don't allow yourself to not go and enjoy and don't feel guilty for going then and enjoying your life for going then and going out with friends i want you to have that i want you to feel that i want you to rejoice as much as you can there's this feeling of that so whether they passed over their their you know 
suffering with something right now it's like there's a gratitude of the love that you have for them but it's like please don't shut yourself off from the world um and don't guilt yourself for not doing as much as you'd like to or doing as much as you wanted to or maybe saying things not saying things that you wish you could have because you deserve happiness you deserve peace and the more you tap into that and reach that the more you allow this to purge out the more that you tap into that it's honoring them too because they want to see you smiling they want to see you happy they want to see you dancing there's a feeling of that pile pile number two any ma any other messages before i get onto the oracle cards they're coming through very like quaint their energy isn't forceful their energy isn't like in your face they're coming through very quaint it's a very peaceful serene energy that's coming through um there's a job offer coming in for some of you guys and i almost feel like spirit wise like spirit guide wise they're infiltrating it i don't know if you've been manifesting in a job or a career change or something like that i even being told like a house move moving across country or just moving into a different house there's a shift or a change coming in um that they're referencing that you've aligned yourself with a try to manifest they've been helping you get that so that they're, they're referencing that for you they're also referencing that they're with either that you have an animal right now or they're with an animal right now because there's this feeling of it could be like some for some and some for the other but they're referencing an animal that either they're with or that you have an animal in your home and this animal like looks around the room or will like you're sitting there and they're looking like right to the side of you and you're like what are you looking at and they're because you know animals they can pick up on spirits they're picking up on this energy coming through they're aware of it um even if you have like a dog and they're back and you know, it's a cat and they're just staring at something like that that's what it is um they're aware of it um what else? I don't know why I'm being shown pregnancy, pregnancy, pregnancy. I don't know if you're going to hear of a pregnancy. I don't feel like it's you. It may be you. You may be quite pregnant. Um, and that's something that they're watching very closely. But for others of you, there could be a sibling that gets pregnant or a friend that gets pregnant. They're referencing something like that. Um, and you having a connection with that child, though. Like, you would have a connection. That connection would be very healing to that child. That's only going to be for some of you. Um, that's only going to be for some of you guys. Look at the dog show with the Ten of Pentacles as well with them referencing the animal that this animal is um this animal is aware of what's going on you actually i'm being told it's never a goodbye and the reason i'm being told that as well is that you have strong mediumship abilities and you are able to see this person or at least their higher self like you're able to take notes and channel energies from their higher self anyway like i feel like me connecting to them right now this wouldn't be the first time that you would have connected to their higher self whether they're on the earth plane or whether they passed over this wouldn't be the first time i almost feel like in times of stress or when you're emotion and emotional or purging this wave of like peaceful energy will come over you or just this wave of energy will come over where you're receiving messages and sometimes you'll doubt it and you might say not to doubt that like do not doubt that it's coming through it's coming through from me i'm being shown the harry potter scene with dumbledore and he's like harry's like is this all happening in my mind and dumbledore's like yeah of course it's happening in your, in your mind but that doesn't make it not real <laughs> so that's what's coming through so that they're referencing that did you watch harry potter a lot because there's been harry potter references in this harry potter may have like a symbolism with you and um your mother because that's coming through um but yeah, I'm being told that you get notes, you get messages of intuition, you see certain animals or a song will come on on the radio, but then you'll think, oh, I don't know, I, maybe that's just in my mind. It's not in your mind at all. And you're actually being told to embrace these energies of mediumship or channeling, um, whether it's true, like I'm being told for you guys, they're referencing for you to do like automatic drawing or automatic writing. Uh, I feel like that's something that you'd find be really beneficial for you. It's when you like literally get into like a meditative state with a pen and you either start drawing or you start writing and messages come through. Um, give that a go because I feel like you'd be really, really good at it. Um, I keep being circled with light, like ocean energy. Like... I don't know if you're purging something right now or you're still purging this connection, but they're they keep surrounding you in this, like, it's not like a blanket. It's like 
if it was a blanket it would be a water blanket because it's like water and it's going around you and it's like white purple and blue and it's going all around you you may recently have been connected to those colors because it's coming around your aura and it's them kind of like protecting you and soothing you um because i feel like you've been processing a lot of heavy emotions let's get into the oracle cards um what messages does pile they're very protective of you with this page of wands they're watching everything that you're doing um they're very very aware of what you're up to i'm hearing love that lets go the hannah montana song um with billy ray cyrus just heard that i don't know if you listened to that but that kind of came through pile number two please for guides pile number two what messages does pile number two's mother's higher self we have discernment here yeah, I almost feel, and this isn't like to worry you or anything, but if there is a connection that you've been purging, there is this reference of you, they're wanting you to be discerning with someone. It's, it's. I, I feel like it would have been a connection. Is there like a karmic connection or someone that you're trying to step away from and it's like you have a lot of love for them, but like they just, they're not doing what they should do to honour you. There's this feeling of like you have a lot of love to give, do not waste it where you're not getting it back. There's this, ref there's this, I feel like this protective mother bear energy, like don't waste this energy where you're not um, getting it back. They're really soothing you from something. Really soothing you from something. Um, Pile number two, please, bro, guides. I feel at night they contact you a lot. If you've, like, at night time been having, like, your Wi-Fi playing up, your internet playing up, lights flickering, um, technology going a bit weird, AirPods, like, just turning off for no reason, um, they keep taking me to, like, electric energy, and then they're also saying, like, when you're sleeping, especially in, like, REM state, you get a lot of downloads and things like that, I'm being told, um, and they're telling me to, like, reference that, that at night, your psychic abilities in general, because you're in a more peaceful, receptive state, they're open very wide when you're falling asleep. So there's a lot of like messages that will filter through. And I feel like that's one of the best times to be able to communicate them because you're so open like that. And I'm being told that they do tend to communicate with you in that sense, their higher self. Or even if they haven't passed on, you may just have a lot of dreams of them, but it's their higher self coming through. Or you may have very cri cryptic cryptic symbolism that they're sending you to kind of like guide you still with um that's something that i'm being told pile number i don't know why they're referencing like cow's milk i don't know if they drunk like a specific cow's milk but they, i don't know why they just show me like a carton of milk with a cow on it that would reference someone i don't know um would they have liked cups of tea or just like warm milk it's not going to be for everyone but they just reference this milk with a cow on it or maybe you had cows maybe you lived on a farm it could be it could be referencing that but pile number two what messages does pile number two is mother's higher self we have new day and i'm hearing the song um by nina simone it's a new day it's a new life for me and i'm feeling good so they're referencing that like dusk to dawn type of energy they're referencing that there's nothing that you can't like do in this lifetime like even if you feel like you're backed up into a corner right now or you're feeling stuck the dragonfly spirit represents spirit it represents your ancestors and then you literally have the sun here it's like there's almost this feeling of them guiding you to a new beginning a rebirth and it's it's more peaceful um and the reference in that whatever you're going through right now you're making your way out of it the sun is coming out um they're really guiding you the fact that that's here we have the birds you obviously birds you know spirit connect with us through birds birds protect us energetically i've had a lot of downloads in regards to birds and they really do heal us that's why they like fly over us they pick up on those energies and with the dragonfly there i mean that literally connects us to um our ancestors and our spirit guides and i feel like the highest self of your mother connects you through animals um a lot there may be like a certain animal we've had a cow come up we've got the horse there we have the dogs there I was telling you guys about a pet there's something about them using animals to connect with you around the pet pet like around the time where they may have passed away if they did pass away or around the things that like sir 
like around the time periods in your life where certain events happened would you see like a certain animal or something would happen like a crow would like come into the window or a butterfly would just show up you know in front of you or there's something about like watching out because i feel like your ancestors in general use animals to warn or show that they're protecting you there's there's a feeling of that um really strong that you you all would have had a beautiful connection with animals and coincide and work with them in spirit to relieve and send messages there's a feeling of that um pile number two please spirit guides a message from pile number two's mother's higher self yeah i'm being shown like a doe or like a like a like an elk or something like that like a deer i'm being shown something like that like appearing out of nowhere omens oh my god what was we what were we just saying and then we have the owl this is what i mean we literally have the owl there as well it's like spirit uh, your, the highest of your mother is saying that your spirit guides your ancestors they use animals to connect with you so pay attention to what animals around you are doing even if it's just like a cartoon of like a tiger on a wall pay attention because that's what they use to connect with you a lot of the time pile number one please oh god too many cards fell but i'm being told to use them so i will let me just move these over because there's a lot of them i didn't expect that many to come out but oh wow <laughs> i'm not going to show you that card to last because it fell to the floor and came out last but we have slow but steady and what we have here is the healing symbolism so I'm being told for you to take your time. Look at the tears coming through. I'm hearing Ariana Grande is no tears left to cry. Allow these emotions to flow out. Allow yourself to find peace. I'm being told healing is a journey and healing is not linear. If you feel one good, good one day and then the next day you're crying, it doesn't mean you go on backwards. There's a message of that, but we're slow and steady here. It's like, take your time. You know, take your time. We also have self-love. So there's a real reference and again more water and more tears being shed it's like they want you to pour into yourself right now give to yourself right now nurture yourself don't self-sacrifice yourself to bend over backwards or don't allow these emotions to just be buried and be hard on yourself for feeling the way that you're feeling whatever it is you're going through a transitional stage or you're healing from this situation or you're purging something allow these emotions to filter through to flow through allow them to come through and nurture yourself your heart is in need of some TLC and know that I'm spiritually doing it. My my soul is still here giving you that TLC, but physically make sure you're giving that to yourself and not pouring it into people that can't reciprocate it. You deserve that beautiful love that you're giving out. And the final card that actually fell on the floor, guys, is Ascension. So again, it's kind of referencing that they're in peace. They would have ascended. They would have passed on. Um, and whether they haven't, um, to be honest with you, if it isn't a situation where they're far away or they're like they're physically going through something where they can't verbalize or be with you presently or they haven't passed on, if that doesn't resonate, then I feel like your pile would be a different pile because the fact that this came out at the end with Ascension, it's like they're referencing that they're at peace and that they've ascended, you know? Or at least that their higher self has. In the back of the deck, we have stripping illusions. And this is what I'm being told. I'm being shown the 3D world, like a cardboard box around you. And it falling away. And then all of your ancestors, you know, the higher self of your mother, grandmother, whoever, they're all around you. That's what I keep referencing. I, and again, Harry Potter reference. You know, at the end of Harry Potter, when Harry uses the stone to talk to all the people that had passed over before he meets Voldemort and his mother's there his father's there his uncle is there or God's father's there they're all around him that's almost coming through the reference and the illusion of the 3d falling away and realizing how much love is around you in spirit and they're referencing that to like pass that on pile um pile two and they're saying the Pocahontas song listen with your heart I'm here with you in your heart you know what I mean listen with your heart you know you'll feel me is the message for you guys pal too so i really hope that you enjoyed that and i was able to bring you guys some peace of mind um hit that thumbs up and comment down below if you did enjoy this reading i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys so much for watching hey pal three welcome to your readings so today we are taking a look at what messages the higher self of your mother has for you so you guys chose the love to write i'm gonna pop that here and we'll get straight in i remember if something doesn't resonate um then it just wasn't a pile um so you could pick a different pile um 
yeah let's get in let's get into the reading so swear so guys can you tap me into the collective of pile number three please tap me into the collective of pile number three are you quite close with your mother because i don't know i'm being shown like a lot of yellow um which is almost referencing that there's a lot of joy when your mother looks at you or they're referencing you as someone that's a kind of like a being of light somebody that's very joyful somebody that's very happy that's somebody that's like that but then i'm also being shown like chains so i don't know why they're referencing that but i'm gonna lay the cards and then we'll fully channel and see maybe what that means but they're looking at you like the perception of you their perspective of you they keep referencing that you're very funny you're a light <laughs> like that's how they're referencing you pal pal number three you're very funny and you're a light um yeah there's there's a lot of love here pal pal three let's get into it pal number three please for guides pal number three tap me into the collective of pal number three what messages does pal number three's mother's higher self we have the page of pentacles your parents may like especially like your mother in the physical like she may live through you like find a lot of joy in what you do or seeing you do things that maybe they would have been repressed from it's a feeling of that pile number three tap me into the collective of pile number three please for guides what um messages does pile number three's highest self the mother of pile number three's higher self have to say the mother of pile three's higher self the higher self of pile three's mother that's what i meant um messages yeah strength what was i was literally being shown yellow which is the color of the solar plexus which is ruled by the sun which is leo which is the lion which is strength right here this is what they're referencing you as they keep referencing to me like maybe in childhood you went to like a lot of fairs because i'm being shown like a fair like a fun fair i'm being shown like cotton candy and like rides and things like that it's not going to be for all of you but there's almost like a reference of like a happy memory there, like a lot of fun and and i don't know there's almost this rejoice of watching you be a child and watching you like wa watching you be an extension of them and there's love coming through here um and like empowerment it's almost like you even teach them to be confident in the way that you are um i don't feel like you would have like had to necessarily like mother your own mother but i do feel like they've learned from you i'm hearing a song oh what who said it was the, it was on miley cyrus sang it with her dad billy ray cyrus and um i don't know if it was called i learned from you but the lyrics are like i learned from you that i do not crumble i learned that strength is something you choose all of the reasons to keep on believing um that's some it's a message or it's a lesson that i learned from you or something like that you can go listen to the lyrics afterwards but there's like a feeling of that like i i do feel that they really they feel like you've taught them a lot in what love is and it, it's almost like i didn't feel nurturing or love when i grew up but i feel it with my child that you know you like i i feel that and i'm able to restore that feeling through you there's a feeling of that coming through pile um pile number three let's keep going pile number three let me just leave the cards pile number three what messages does pile number three's mother's higher self we have the king of swords we have the queen of pentacles and the back of the deck we have the two of swords i feel like the higher like the higher self of your mother is coming through to say that they're quite hard on themselves. Like they internalize a lot. They're really come th coming through and saying that they internalize a lot. They take, how do I explain this? Because it's coming through with the king of swords as well. It's like, I'm almost feeling this energy like I wasn't raised this way. And I'm so hell bent on making sure that my kids aren't raised the way that I was. And I'm worried and scared or fearful of effing up like they're making me embody that like i am fearful of having the wounds that i went through be placed onto my children like i need to do everything that i can to not have that happen so i feel like they gave you a lot of love and they gave you a lot of um maybe they tried to like big you up but they're also referencing that there was 
a lot of like they were very protective over you um wait this is why the chains are coming through this is why the chains are coming through they're referencing like i'm protective over you i'm careful with you because i don't want you to make mistakes that i did and i do not want um harm reaching you there's this feeling of like i saw a lot in my childhood or i went through a lot in my childhood that maybe that i've never really spoken of but i'm so protective of that never happened to you that that could even be, have been a feeling of them like stunting you or you would have maybe felt in this lifetime like i feel stunted by them like they're really protective over me they're really overbearing on me and they're referencing like I'm sorry if this has caused you harm or pain. I don't mean it to. I really like have love for you and I see your strength and I and I want the ultimate best for you. And I don't want you seeing things that I've had to. I don't want this world to taint you. And it's caused me to be overprotective. It's caused me to be um very careful with you and maybe hold you back from certain things and it's like i want you to have that freedom i want you to rejoice but i'm scared of you being hurt so I f i'm hard on you sometimes or maybe they grow up in poverty and maybe they're hard on you in regards to making a lot of money so maybe they try to push their ways on you in the 3d and they're referencing like they're apologizing for that and they're like i don't mean to be overbearing you are perfect the way that you are but i just want the best for you and i'm because that worked for me sometimes i'll press that onto you but it's not happening like i'm not being mean to be mean or i'm not being you know overbearing on you to be overbearing it's just because i want you to succeed i want you to with this page of pentacles here it's like i want the abundance for you i want that love for you i want you to reach high high heights and i feel like their idea of success may be a little bit different to yours because you both were raised very differently like their success is having um like money you know what i mean because that maybe helped them get out of a situation of their energy of like success is like um not turning out like somebody else or making sure that they're aiming for perfectionism and then i feel like it rubs off on you but they don't mean it to they just don't want you to in their eyes like go through what they have and they they know that they need to loosen the ropes they just have a hard time doing it they feel very fixed uh like leo scorpio aquarius taurus energy um but it's all coming from love like with this queen of pentacles as well like there is so much love that they have for you whether they fully express it or not it's coming through like they do but if they don't or you don't feel that they have so much that's completely fine that they're, they're honoring that maybe you wouldn't feel like that because maybe the way that they use love is in a different way they kind of almost feel like a virgo venus or maybe you know they're like virgo in the fourth house they're quite perfectionistic so it's like the way i show love is is doing for other people and and um giving them tough love and hoping for the best because I didn't have it growing up and I need to give that to my children so they can have the best childhood like there's a feeling of that so there's a big apology coming through like I'm sorry if I'm overbearing I'm sorry if I nag I'm sorry if I worry there's there, there is apologies coming through for that but they just keep showing me this light when in regards to you and I don't know whether they say this to you or not but they really see you as a light they see you as like a reflection of them or what they would have loved to embrace as a child or what they would have loved to embrace as like a young adult or even an older adult like they see you as that they see you as someone that's very strong they see you as somebody that's very creative very courageous um it's like you embody your inner child even at an older age so you could be watching this as like a 30 year old but they're saying that you embody your inner child there's almost this mischievous flair or like again they're referencing you being quite funny or getting up to little things maybe you had a very strict childhood so you're quite rebellious now and they're referencing it and they do love that side of you um it's just hard for them to embrace it so much because they weren't able to have that they had to get serious you know what i mean when they were young so it's like but they love that there's almost this feeling of like pride that you are able to tap into that because they couldn't supply you um with that growing up and it's like they love that you are able to through that be able to tap into it and not have to be so serious because that's what you know they would have wanted but there's conflict in their brain with this king of swords like they beat themselves up over a lot i feel like if there's an argument or if they like i feel like if you did something that maybe they didn't like they'd reference it like i've done something wrong they'd internalize it they internalize a lot 
um they'd internalize it as oh my god i've done so like I, I you know what i mean this is my fault like there's this feeling of like i feel like maybe with a parent with them their parent would have been very like um controlling in the sense of like gaslighting or controlling in the sense of um just very mean i almost feel like they were given harsh treatment growing up or weren't allowed to process emotions or maybe they had to like mother their own mother or something like that but there's this feeling of like because of that they've taken on these wounds of self-inflicted energy so if somebody gets hurt it's my fault if somebody messes up it's my fault like they're referencing that and that's why they try to aim for protection uh, perfection in everyone and do you see how i said protection do you see how i mix up my words because it's it's out of this they wanting to protect that's why it's coming through and they're wanting you to know that um why have we got the two of swords at the back of the deck Mm. maybe they weren't so emotional but maybe they gave you a lot physically like practically like roof over the head maybe they had to work a lot so they couldn't be present as much that's only going to be for some of you but they're referencing that's their love language it's like i didn't have that roof over my head like that i didn't have those nice things growing up i was um i was robbed of them i didn't have that so if i work really hard i can supply that to my child and they get to have that and that means i've done good whereas maybe then you growing up were like you know what i'm grateful that i have a roof over my head and i'm grateful that there's food in my fridge but i really would like some soothing from my mother or some compliments from my mother or some love from my mother but i can't because they're at work they're working really hard and there's a reference of that in that um how do i explain this that there's a reference of that and they're saying not to take that and internalize that as rejection of them not wanting to be there from you them working really hard or them putting their energy into that or doing other things it's like that's their way of protecting you that's their way of showing love i'm giving you this because i didn't have it and they they keep going over that as well um like i'm doing everything that i can to make sure that you do not have to struggle i'm doing everything that i can to hold you know like this family together you know what i mean it's almost reminding me of that movie in canto with the the um the grandmother and she was really harsh on the kids or very strict on the kids but it wasn't that she didn't love them it was out of like protection you know what i mean it was it was out of that we need to keep this miracle alive so i have to protect and everything has to be in order um when really at the end of the movie you see where it's coming from and there's that strong reference but how they see you is this strength energy and i hope you do know that because they want to keep referring to that like they see you as like gold you know what i mean even if you're like there's almost this feeling of like you may be like the middle child or a child that may be looked over or a child that like um how do i explain this there's this reference of I, even if I gave you the world, it wouldn't be enough, like for me. So I keep working, working, working really hard. And I keep trying to maybe buy things for you or be this very strong person for you. But it's never enough, like within me, because I almost feel like there's a wound within them. Um, Like I've got to keep everything together because I've got to protect. Like there's a there's a wound of that, that they're almost resisting letting go of because they feel like to let go of it would be letting go of everything they've built um but they're referencing to you that if you feel looked over that honor and that you feel that way but they're referencing that they have so much love for you so much love for you there's so much love coming through for you um within them um it's just i feel like you and your parent look at things maybe from a different perspective but i do see in this lifetime some of you guys as well getting a breakthrough from them of them actually i don't know whether they've ever relayed this to you so it could be something i'm seeing from the past or it could be something that's happened recently or it could happen in the future but there's almost a reference of tears being flooded and, and having that conversation like this is why i'm the way that i am this is why like there's a heart to heart coming or has already happened there's a reference of that because i almost feel like there has been healing our relationships have been shifting and i feel like there's an openness or it may happen when you have your own child or something like that um but yeah that's something that i'm being told so let's move on to your oracle cards to get a bit deeper um what messages does pal number three's mother's higher self have oh honoring your energy what was i saying they have a lot of like gratitude and love for you the way that you look on at the world it's like they really do rejoice in that even if like they may have like a little bit of like resting bee face and don't necessarily like when you get an accomplishment or you go doing something they may not be like woo like you know getting the streamers out but inside it's like them seeing you 
embrace life and and just seeing the person that you are it does make them feel like oh like I I I managed to shift that I managed to change that because there is some sort of generational karma that they would have put a stop to um I don't feel they would have put a stop to all of it but they did put a stop to some of it and they're referencing that when they see like there's something about they're referencing that they love your laughter or they love your smile or when you watch something or you're passionate about something and you talk or maybe when you were younger like maybe you like to dance and sing maybe you used to put on shows for them or like there's just a reference of that like you just dancing and singing there's a feeling of that and i'm hearing the mamma mia song i uh it, what, what was it called it's called slipping through my fingers or something like that it goes like slipping through my fingers every time i try to catch them every minute and it's like a video of like the mother and she's watching her like daughter grow up whether you're male or female it will resonate for you but that song's coming through i don't know the actual name could literally be called slipping through my fingers but that's coming through there's a reference there a strong reference there um honoring your energy they do really have a lot of love for you and the person that you've you know become uh we also have forgiveness as well um because that flipped over with the cards before um i picked them up again so we have forgiveness here so again, maybe there is, for some of you, there may even be like a little bit of a rift. There may even be a little bit of a rift in the sense like you've, you're holding on to me too tight. Like, let me live, like, let me live. And there's maybe been arguments or ructions. And I feel like this reading is them coming through to tell you why they are the way that they are. And I don't know why I just keep feeling like if there is no contact or if there's been arguments or if there's a little bit of a weird dynamic right now, I see it healing. Like, I, I feel like something's going to be healed for you in this lifetime. Like, there's a there's a repair of something coming through um, for you guys. Pile number three. And again, with this King of Swords, it's like I, I've, I've tried my best. It's 33 on the clock, if you've been seeing 33, by the way. Um, I keep feeling as well with the King of Swords and then forgiveness there. It's like, again, with the three and the two adding up to five, that's Mercury energy, right? And I, I just keep um, being like, you may not even think they've done anything wrong. Some of you guys may adore your mother, but there's this feeling of like, oh, I wish, I hope they'd forgive me for not letting them roam the way that they should have when they when they were younger. Or I wish that, you know, there's this feeling of like wanting forgiveness in some sort of way, or there's like a guilt that they're holding on to. They're not telling me what it is, but they're saying you'll know, or you, you'd be aware. It's a behavior that they do that they're, they're feeling guilt about, pile, pile three. Um, that they're wanting forgiveness from. I keep being told there's a chat coming, a conversation coming, a deep conversation coming, or a conversation that will happen um, before this person does ascend. Or maybe, you know, your mother has already passed on and um, you had that chat right beforehand. You know what I mean? That There's almost like a feeling of like, at one point, there's going to be something restored or something's going to be revealed or there's going to be this kind of rebirth here. Um... They adore you though. The first energy I picked up when they referenced you, it's like a yellow energy, solar plexus energy. You're a firecracker, you're fun, you're, you know, there's so much love. Maybe like you do a job that they didn't agree with at the beginning and it wasn't that they didn't agree with your dreams and your talents. It wasn't that they didn't think that you were worthy of getting them. It was because they didn't understand yet with their own brain how you would become successful with it. So it was like, in my world that you never would have got successful with that so you can't do that because i need you to be successful and you know it's my mind's going 100 miles an hour i'm talking fast because it's like the brain like no 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 no. i need them where i can see them and i need familiar and comfortability because it's what i created to find my own peace and we all need to stay in cotton wool like there's this feeling of that coming through pal three we have sexual energy coming through but what i'm being told here with this card is like were you not allowed boyfriends or girlfriends around the house were they very careful about relationships coming in the reason i'm saying that is because with the sexual energy it's almost referencing that maybe they would have been taken advantage of when they were younger or earlier on in like relationship dynamics and there's a fear of that happening to you um whether it was something that was very catastrophic to them or whether it was just something more lighter but like it's something that they don't want happening to them. Maybe they were like used sexually or something like that by someone or maybe they felt like they were robbed of that too young or 
they gave that to the wrong person and there's this feeling of i don't want that to happen to this person i'm scared of that happening to this person so i need to be protective over them so you may have like had like boyfriends or girlfriends and they wouldn't let them stay around and they'd be very careful like you can't go to the bedroom you have to stay in the living room or i need to keep an eye on you or you're not going on a date with that person like there's a restriction that they may have put in place there that they're referencing and they're saying it's because of something that would have happened to them um and it could even literally just be that, you know, they may have, like, lost their virginity quite young and then they regretted it their whole life because it was like, I feel like I was exploited in a way or I feel like it shouldn't have happened that way. That's not how that should have happened and I don't want my children to go through that. It's protection is how it's coming through with that card. Um, pile number... Yeah, with the healing energies around as well, you could see the healing swirls. I feel like it's something that they might have had to even heal from. But it's like, I don't want my, my children to go through it um, at all. Pile number th uh, three. It could even be that nothing happened to them in their childhood as well. It's just they're scared of something like that happening to you. Or they're scared of you being taken advantage of. Or something like that, ha that happening. Because look where it's come under, the King of Swords. It's like analysing, you know what I mean? Really analysing, getting to the bottom of it, looking deep into it. It's like strong mental focus there. Um pilot number three they're also referencing as well with forgiveness going underneath strength that um by them being maybe controlling for some of you guys they would have been really controlling for some of you guys it's a little bit lighter than that it's more so all love but they just maybe said little things or did little things that may have made you feel like not worthy um made you feel like you always had to do more to please them get higher grades um dress a certain way lose a certain type of weight and they're referencing you're perfect the way that you are and i'm sorry that this attitude had you think that you weren't worthy in the energy that you are in there's a reference of that and an apology coming through here and again they're taking me to honoring your energy and page of pentacles the higher self wants to uplift you with this page of pentacles and you know let you know that you are my sunshine i'm hearing you are my sunshine that song pile number three please spirit guides pile number three what messages does Pell number three's mother's higher self? Movement into balance for the Queen of Pentacles. Movement into balance. Yeah, I feel like your mother may have even taken on a, like a more masculine role because they had no choice. They had to tap into that masculine side and be fierce and be controlling of their surroundings and be very grounded and take that kind of like control like a warrior in a way because they they literally had no choice no one was around to maybe protect them or they, they they had to do that that was the way they had to move through life they had to grow up very young so they've stuck with that masculine energy um and they do have that queen of pentacles they do have that nurturing energy within them um it's just coming through in a very masculine way it's i, I may even i'm i may be mistaken but for some of you guys your mother that's coming through takes on the masculine role and your father takes in the takes on the feminine role you may find that for you guys you get your nurturing and emotions from your father and the masculine tough love energy from um did i say that right you're getting the emotions and the nurturing from your father and then the masculine and the tough love and all of that from your mother then which is you know it's like the roles are reversed in regards to parents there um that's what i'm being told let's take a look at the back of the deck we have stripping illusions at the back of the deck um but i'm being told with the lotus here um no lotus no jewel which is a quote and that came up in another reading the other day so maybe i told it to you the other day but the reason that they're referencing that is they're saying if i i would go through all my struggles and all of that again to have my children again like that lotus that i had to go through the mud that i was stuck in i found like love and happiness through that through my children like my children were the jewel in that lotus there's a feeling of that and it's like i maybe sometimes i can't express that maybe sometimes i have had a hard time being emotional and being vulnerable like that because i've been taught to put up those walls but they are the jewel to my lotus there is a feeling of that um the fact that we literally have page of pentacles you're like holding you up like you are so loved i hope you know you're so loved i'm tough because i love you like that's coming through but I, I really am picking up like there's some sort of 
reconciliation or talk that has been had or is coming in um it may not be imminent it may not be straight away but at one point there's going to be a conversation whether it's with you or whether it's with a sibling or whether you hear something or something's revealed to you like there's something about that that would be very healing for you um pile number three um they're just wanting me through that higher self to like uplift you and say how strong you are and how courageous you are and how free spirited you are and how artistic you are um and how beautiful you are like they keep referencing that and they're wanting to like from their higher self like through me to you like have me say to you like how proud they are of you how bright you are how much you shine how how loved you are like they keep referencing that like you are the jewel to my lotus that's the message from the higher self of your mother pal three so i really hope that this brought you peace and i hope this resonated with you pal three hit the thumbs up or comment down below if it did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you guys are watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Hey Pal4, welcome to your reading. So today we are taking a look at what messages the higher self of your mother has for you. So you guys chose the pink moss again. I'm going to pop that up here and we are going to get straight in. Um, I don't know why I've got, I normally have my tarot cards this side, the oracle side cards that side, but I have them like flipped around. I don't know why. Which, because I see meaning in everything, especially when I have my crown shackle, one like this which is referencing to me this switch of these cards for some reason because i've never done it before the role between you and your mother was reversed it's something that i i feel like that was a symbolism the role between you and your mother was reversed i feel like you would have mothered your own mother are you still mother your own mother are you that was the connection that was built um the mother taking the childlike role the child taking the mother role yeah, I'm literally being shown like, do you know the refresh symbol? And it's like kind of like arrows going around in a circle. Yeah, it's like reverse, reverse. It's like it's reversed. Yeah, okay, let's get in then. Let's start with tarot and get in. Um, pile number four, please, spirit guides. Pile number four. Tap me into the collective of pile number four, please, spirit guides. What messages does pile number four's mother's higher self? Oh, I feel like this might get a little bit heavy. I don't want to say before I get in. I feel like this may get a bit heavy. Like they're almost referencing this egg of kind of like smog. And they're like saying to me, are you are you ready to step into it to feel? Are you ready to step into it to feel? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, of course I am. So that that kind of tapping me into that that kind of energy now. Um, pile number four. I'm going to lay the cards first and then completely channel. So what messages does pile number four's? um mother's higher self have to say what messages does pal number four's mother's higher self the hanged man what messages does pal number four's mother's oh what cards just flipped over king of pentacles reversed what messages does pile number Four's mother have these cards are just jumping out for me we have the fool what messages does pal number four's mother's higher self the hermit and the back of the deck we have the two of swords okay i feel like your childhood you had the weight of the world on you, it feels, pal four. Um, you really did have the weight of the world on you. Sort of similar to pile number one, but I feel like there are differences that I'm going to get into. Let me settle into this energy a minute because it's a funny energy. They're doing the same that they did with pile number one, where my spirit guides are putting me in the energy, but not enough that it is going to like tug at me too hard and whatever emotions are too heavy my spirit guides are letting me know and channeling it to me instead of me just completely embodying too much because they're saying it would be a lot it would take me out of my energy like too much because I feel like pile number four the higher self of your mother still very much feels stuck in a rut that they can't get out of it's like stuck in mud um and it's a murk it's like a murky water 
and you may have even been from when I did the the uh the higher self of the father you may have been from that pile where I was talking about um the parents and everyone in that situation that was around the child or around yourself growing up was stuck in this tornado um the minute that you were like born and everyone was going around in this tornado there was so much like generational karma and pain and hurt and everyone was arguing with each other and projecting onto each other but like no one was actually doing active work to heal it i feel like you would have been from that pile because they reference it but with the father it felt like this whirlwind and i can't get my feet on the ground but the mother's energy like the one that i'm picking up here like your mother's higher self they're referencing it like stuck in murky water stuck in mud and i have no idea how to clear it and i have no idea how to get out of it but there's this reference that the emotions are coming in there's a there's a reference that you have you've got out of it um i think you've been healing with the hermit card here and the fool you've been um apologies if i cry guys but i'm i'm taking on the emotion and i'm holding space for it so if i cry and i stop and i cry don't worry about me i'm okay this is how i channel okay i take on the emotion they're referencing them okay guys i had to cut that out then and if i sound like my nose is like stuffy it's because I, I i had to like purge an emotion then but what they were doing was they don't want me to sit in this energy for too long but they wanted me to feel this emotion that's coming through so i could understand it to then relay it to you because it's it's very heavy their feelings so what they're doing is they're almost like stopping me putting me in the energy giving me the information then taking me back out so i can understand it to relay it there's this reference that so much went on in your childhood pal one uh, pal four so much went on in your childhood and everyone was stuck in this murky water and there was so much pain and hurt and i feel like your mother never had the chance to heal it it was too much it was too unbearable they couldn't see like i'm being shown like a murky pond my feet are stuck at the bottom and i can't breathe and I'm, I'm calling out to my parents which would be like your grandparents and they see me but they're not picking me up because they're stuck in it too and i'm taking and internalizing that as rejection and i'm so stuck in this pain and emotions and i feel like you came along and you were in this pond you were stuck in these in these in these murky waters but there's a there's a feeling of you seeing through it you embodying it and you see and do it and you're you finding your way it's like okay this is bad i'm at the bottom of this lake and this is the, the they're showing it to me physically right and they're showing me your mind as a child it's like okay I'm, I'm at the bottom of this lake this murky waters my feet are stuck in this mud too and my mother's there and my father's there and my grandparents and siblings and it's like but no one's helping me and no one's helping anyone around me they're all pointing fingers and shouting at each other and no one knows what to do and it's it's engulfing everybody so instead of you staying stuck in that mud it's like okay okay i'm going to tap out of what's like keeping me to this um keeping me in this energy so i almost feel like physically your physical body not that you tapped out of your physical body but you almost like um either suffered like a blockage in your root chakra as a child um where you there was a lot that went on that was traumatic maybe it was physical emotional abuse whatever the case because there's so much pain in murky waters everyone's acting out of their shadow because no one can see clearly because everyone's engulfed in pain so they're hurting each other and i feel like you were hurt too in the process in whatever way you, you feel that resonates for you mentally emotionally spiritually physically even sexually whatever it relates to you and everyone's doing it to each other because everyone's in pain right and you're like okay well my physical body right my shoes are stuck in this in this in this murky water in this mud what do i do okay well how about i take off my shoes let me have that i've got that idea in my brain i'm bearing this pain and i'm disassociating for it for a second so i understand what to do okay i'm gonna take off my shoes so you take off your shoes and you're free you can you're able to move around in that murky water you still can't see right but you're able to move around in that murky water which they're kind of referencing you almost detached from the physical in a way tapped into like this escapism 
But by doing that and almost withdrawing from your childhood or withdrawing from your present day as a child, because they're taking me to childhood. This was young. This was like as young as five years old. It feels, this feels young. While you did that, you're now in this state where you're able to um, see a little bit clearer. And you're able to hold that weight because now you can move your legs around. So what they're referencing is now that you're disassociating it, disassociating a little bit from the physical, you're tapping now into your heart energy and your emotional energy. And because you're rising up, you can see how everybody's stuck and you're analyzing everybody's behavior. And at times you're getting hurt too. And that's hurting you. And at times you're um, taking them shouting at you and and you know because you're moving around and doing whatever you're taking that and internalizing that as oh maybe they don't want my help or they're rejecting me or maybe i'm not loved they don't love me they're not helping me like i've got to do this myself no one's loving me no one's helping me no one's giving me a helping hand they're shouting at me when i express anything and there was all this internalization that you took on but one thing that you took on is what the, the two bodies you feel most comfortable in in this lifetime and the two bodies that you've mastered is the emotional body connecting to people through emotions and the spiritual body connecting to spirit you've been a channeler in past lives you've um done so much in past lives in regards to your emotions and spirit you are an alchemist and you embody those two and all of a sudden you see this light in this murky water you see this light at the top there's this light up there there's this white light up there and it's the sun and that's you tapping into a higher consciousness, your spirit side, your emotional side. And you're looking around and you've got siblings there and you're like, I'm going to grab my siblings with me. I'm going to have them take their shoes off or whatever. I'm going to grab them and I'm going to bring them with me. But then there's also this feeling of I can't leave my family behind. So I've got to stay in this murky water to help them get up. So what that's relating to is I know that everything that's happening around me right now is not right. And I'm tapping into this spiritual side. I'm tap maybe the spiritual side when you were younger wasn't connecting a spirit, but it was living an alternative life in your brain. Maybe you imagined a lot. You had a big imagination. I feel like spirit really aided you in tapping into that um, as a safe haven for you. And it's like you're wanting to bring your mother and your father and the people around you. You're wanting to bring them, but specifically your mother. You're wanting to bring your mother like up to this light you're trying to do that and you're doing everything you can to heal them to make it better for them and they're acting out of this wounded inner child because no one helped them so while you're trying to heal you're bending over backwards you are self-sacrificing yourself out of pure love because you were tapped into that from a young age because spirit pretty much raised you, I feel. And you raised yourself, but spirit raised you. That's how you have such a pure understanding of what love is. Because I don't feel you were taught it from the people around you. You were taught it by the universe and by spirit. That's why your heart's so pure. And um, I feel like you were trying to see that pure light and that love and that healing in the people around you the mother the father the grandma you were trying to see it but all you were met with was wounded inner children angry and punishing each other and hurt at each other pointing fingers at each other and you would self-sacrifice you would give so much to them and give all of that love to them because as a child you wanted that back but you weren't getting it back so when we're not loved we settle for being needed so because you weren't given that nurturing you settled for being needed you settled on being the healer and i like they're showing me you in the mud like going around and going to the bottom and getting to those murky waters and trying to get their shoes off and trying to help and self-sacrificing yourself like burning yourself on the floor and cutting yourself because you're trying to get them up <laughs> and um when you couldn't you internalize that as you weren't enough because you put your worth and your needs and your self-love in your healing because as a young child you settle for being needed and not loved because that was all that was open to you from other people so it was like your worth came from helping people your worth came from being a savior to people and then it mirrored when you would meet while you were climbing up to the top and this peace and this love at that sun and you were bringing your siblings with you maybe a sibling or two fell back down but you, you even internalized that as it was your fault. 
and you're trying to swim to the top to this to, to this light and i see you you're, you're so close to it and it's not even a case of close to it you are that light you are that lighthouse like you are that that light that you're seeing it's your light it's it's the universe it's spirit and i feel like you you learned and you've shifted and you've changed so much um alchemize so much pain and hurt the higher you got the more you could see from a bird's eye view when you were like that's why you're acting that way you didn't hate me you were angry and that's why you shouted at me because when i open up to my emotions they're foreign to you and it's triggering you because you never had the strength to tap into your emotions like this and you never had the strength to stand up for yourself like this. So when I do it, you reject me and you put me down because you um, you couldn't bear to hear the things I was saying because they hurt. Because you could never embody that yourself. And the more you alchemized and shifted and opened up to your emotions, the more you were seeing things from a higher perspective with this, this hanged man. You were seeing it. And I'm almost seeing like... This is where the messages come in and this is why I had to stop because they put me in your mother's energy. Um, it's like, I feel like you becoming the best version of you and healing, you've actually, um, how do I explain this? Help me put this in a word spirit without like blubbering like a mess. The highest love of your mother is referenced and even in this physical lifetime, you have helped heal them sorry guys you've helped heal them in so many ways by getting yourself out of the mud and and floating up high they're looking up to you and it's not just your mother it's your grandparents even when they don't listen to you or they'll it's grandparents of siblings like they're all looking at you floating up and they're putting you in your mother's energy like watching you float up to this light and it's what they've all been missing and we're never able to tap into and watching you embody it for some it's triggering but for some it's so healing and i feel like for your mother it's healing but there's almost this reference of fear right now from the higher self of your mother they know maybe because you've told them maybe because of how much you've shifted they're becoming aware of their negative traits of how they've done you wrong and it eats them up the more you shift, the more you heal. I don't know whether you've had words with them or you say a lot to them. I'm healing this. You didn't teach me this. And this happened. They're aware. And there's so much love. They're almost looking at you like a saviour. And I feel like you had to save your energy towards them. Because it's like they are looking at you like that. But the more you're floating up, there's a fear of you abandoning them. Because they were so abandoned in their childhood. They fear you reaching that light and then abandoning them. There's so much like love that they have, but they don't know how to express love properly because they weren't taught. And it comes across sometimes as like they'll get triggered by moves you make or words you say or calling things out. They get triggered by it because they know it's true. And it's like, they don't know how to deal with their own emotions. They, It's not even that your, that your mother isn't connected to their emotions. They are, but it's coming up in anger and frustration. There's this angry in a child. And it's like, I hope I'm explaining this correctly. It's like, you've shifted and changed so much. The scene you were so peaceful. Someone with so much wisdom. And sometimes it may come across as like, jealousy because there is a feeling of jealousy here like how have they done that how have they done that and there's this feeling of awe towards you more than anyone else like that's in this murky waters because they're referencing i'm not the only one down here there's siblings here with me too there is the father here too there is the grandparents here too there's multiple ancestors behind me that are here too that is watching this person liberate themselves and there's so much gratitude and it's like don't leave me don't don't go <laughs> there's like a abandonment mood. don't go um and they may even do little tactics to try and keep you around but it's out of like this wounded inner child this is the only thing i know to keep you here they're scared of you um hating them leaving them cutting them off i feel like you might have had to cut off family members they're petrified of you cutting them off 
you've had to out of you know your own mental health and emotional health but they're petrified of you cutting them off um completely petrified of that with this fool catch here it's like you're walking into the sun they're petrified of it they know with this king of pentacles reverse they 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 didn't offer you a lot because they couldn't offer you a lot and i almost feel like you were born during their saturn return um have a check um like at how old you were because there's this feeling of like saturn being here and you being born in that saturn return you came here to work through this karma because what i'm being told is how you've reached this hermit cat hermit cat and reached this hanged man how you've rebirthed is you disassociated from the physical i'm being told in some sort of way you tapped into the emotional side the spiritual side I feel like your mental abilities allowed you to refine everything that was going on because you're super analytical and you have a lot of like you you have really good memory and I feel like you look at your childhood you look at your past you look at everything that went on all the self-inflicted things that happened all the um internalization of people not being able to be what they should have been it was like you internalize you internalize you internalize and it's like it had you reach new heights you were able to rebirth like a phoenix and then i feel like when you were ready you tapped back into your physical body and you went back down to the murky waters to understand your past even more so when you reached a certain part of enlightenment in your life spiritually you're my spiritual pilot like i feel it when you reached a certain point of your spiritual like enlightenment it almost feels like a quarter away um when you reached that it was like right i think i'm prepared now to go back into these murky waters and analyze why these behaviors of these people that raised me made me the way that i am so that i can get some of this baggage off and continue to pull myself up because i feel like you were still carrying a lot of baggage from like your childhood maybe you were still carrying siblings maybe you were still you know carrying siblings to that light maybe you were still um acting out of certain wounded parts of your inner child too and i feel like when you felt ready you allowed yourself to sink back to the bottom and i feel like you may have even gone through an ego death and i see you walking around like walking around under this water and analyzing grandparents siblings your own mother and being like oh wow you're acting like this oh my god i internalized this it's like you're holding your inner child's hand and you're looking at like the mother and your the inner child's almost showing you this is how they made me feel but this isn't actually how i should have taken it and it's like you're teaching your inner child it was never your job to save them we need to let go of this baggage because it's like your mother in yourself we weren't supposed to save them we can't save them we can only save ourselves and hope that they'll do it too and that there would have been a time period where you did a lot of shadow work and i'm being shown like a tight grip on your inner child's hands a tight grip on your shadow self's hands and it's like working in unison those bodies of like okay why did this happen why did i internalize this it was never my fault to take all of that on it was never because they couldn't heal that wasn't my fault and even towards other parents, like, my father didn't reject me. He was caught up in this too. And it, it's like you, you went through all of that, but you allowed yourself and your inner child and your shadow self to purge. So you might have gone through a period in your life where there was a lot, like, you felt depressed. But you were purging these wounds up. There was a lot of realizations. For some of you guys, it went on for years. Um, Actually, it, it never went less than a year. It's either, like, been, like, an ongoing thing where it went on for, like, a year, two years. Or it would have lasted a, a strong period of time. But every time you realized something and let go of that baggage, you felt lighter. You felt more free. And I see you like connecting with your inner child like that and, and purging those wounds. But while you're doing it, you're not just purging your own wounds, you're purging, purging your ancestors' wounds. And the more you're doing it, the more this murky water is turning lighter. It's turning bright. I'm almost feeling like the way, the way you are right now, this water is almost crystal clear because you're understanding your childhood and you're liberating yourself by it. And by you healing yourself, embodying that light this is a message from your mother's higher self by you healing yourself and embodying that light you are liberating us all you're not leaving there's a feeling like you feel like um you're like uh, you, you feel like you're leaving them behind and there is fear from all of them that you're leaving them behind but it's like they want you to know that maybe they don't see it in the physical and maybe you don't see it in the physical but you liberating yourself you're doing 
what we all needed to happen like you, you're you're shifting you're alchemizing don't feel like you're leaving us behind because you're supposed to live your life you bring in happiness to this line of this generation you bring in freedom and happiness you're liberating them that's how you're doing it and there's a reference of so much gratitude to keep doing that this is your the mother the, the higher self of your mother coming through so much love they're saying keep doing it because you're in there's this feeling of like in the physical you're inspiring me you are making me realize little parts of where i've done wrong and i'm there was almost this feeling like they're starting to or slowly starting to little by little they're moving very slow with it but they're starting to realize um whether it's words of wisdom you say to them or just you doing better for yourself they're starting to realize little things like oh wow me kicking off like that all the time that isn't really good i think i need to stop that but the thing is that's a seed being planted and then they're like well how do i stop that do i go to therapy do i do it you know and it's the thing is and you'll know this i feel like you know this with healing it starts off little it starts off a little pick and then it rolls and it rolls and it gets deeper and deeper do i think that your mother is going to heal from everything in this lifetime and ascend the way that you have honestly no but little parts that maybe they might not have even planned i've actually been told this they might not even have planned in this lifetime to heal from a lot of that or they like in their life chat it was like i'm gonna go through all of this but i'm not gonna hold out any hope that i'm gonna heal or anything like that and there's almost this feeling that you whatever it is that you're doing there's something that you're making them realize and they're actually starting to do little things to shift maybe to put in boundaries maybe to stand up for themselves there's little things coming up and they're, they're starting to pick away at them um and that's happening and they're saying that's your doing that's you and the effect of you being floating up to the top and shining the light out and they're going oh wait that light i can kind of see a little bit i can hang on a minute i can see it i can see a second and they're starting to see little things clearly it's not too in depth it's not like this it's not the way that you have but it's little by little um whether you realize it or not it's little by little it's still very slow but it's happening um but there's so much like it's sim it's a message similar to pal number one when they're saying that they do love you but they were never taught what love was and they love you to the best that they can they don't understand what a healthy connection to anything is and when i say anything i mean they don't just watch tv they zone out and binge on tv they don't just have a sip of alcohol they'll binge on alcohol they won't just eat a cake they'll eat the whole thing and then three more because they will binge on it they've used everything around them as a coping mechanism and so has everyone that is still stuck in this muddy water i almost feel like there's a sibling you've cut off and there's almost okay when i tap into them this sibling um there's this reference of um anger towards you but it's like you know like i said you liberating yourself and ascending they would have dealt with rejection too the same way that you have but instead of you understanding why it happened they're taking you moving on and ascending as like rejection so there's like anger there um and it's almost like and they're looking at it in a wrong way and it's how they've been taught because you self-sacrificed yourself maybe for your parents they're almost looking at it like you should self-sacrifice self-sacrifice yourself more and save me instead of doing it like i don't think your mother thinks like you should self-sacrifice for me it just happened that way naturally but they're almost referencing like you should have brought me up to that light with you like there's almost a feeling from a sibling that they do have narcissistic vibes in the sense like the world owes them something like you should be doing this for me you should and it's it's theirs is coming through more in anger whereas yours is coming through with emotion you know um but that's something that's coming through with a sibling it, it, they do have love for you and it's but it's being internalized as like the heart chakra getting blocked and then them just being very angry with everything um but their higher self the higher self is very supportive of you actually in spirit and they're telling me that would be quite healing for you to hear physically they're a little bit of a lost cause right now 
this is kind of turning into a bit of a family reading but when your mother's high cell takes me down to the bottom of the water there's a lot of people with me here um but yeah the higher self of the siblings coming through to say like um i'm with you spiritually like this family is around you spiritually more than you know like ancestor wise we're all watching you and are grateful for you um but don't take me not being able to do what you are doing as that's your fault because it wasn't even for you to heal me and fix me and it's funny because the siblings coming through to be quite wise on a soul level um yeah they're coming through to be quite wise on a soul level pile pile four but um it's not infiltrating into the physical because it's coming through like they may even act very arrogant or aggressive or whatever the case but it's like i don't know there's a lot self-inflicted i'm not going to go too deep into that if you want a sibling hi yourself let me know because that's intrigued me maybe we could do a sibling one i want to focus on your mother for this one um yeah, they're saying as well, your, your mother's higher self is saying as well, like, you know, like I said, you disassociated from the physical at one point in your childhood. I feel like you're sitting back in your root chakra now. The amount of healing that you did is allowing you to be in your physical. And that's why this crystal clear water is coming through. Because it's like, I'm in my physical body again. It's like you put your shoes back on. You've wiped them clean. You've stuck them back on. And now you, you're swimming back up to the top. And there's almost like an applause. Now I'm feeling the emotions. It's like gratitude. But they're all there it's and it's a bit of sweet feeling because it's like they're, they're all there at the bottom and it's like the higher self is like showing me like a round of applause and showing a few like do it like swim to the top like do it do it keep going but their 3d self is almost like frustrated or scared or scared of rejection feel taking it as rejection or it's hurt and it's like but their higher self, they want you to know, like, it's coming through from the higher self and it's collectively. Even ancestors behind you, like, do it. Do it. Like, run. Like, f like swim to the top. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're liberating us as you do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Because I almost feel like you and a lot of your ancestors have incarnated. I don't necessarily feel you so much, but your ancestors have been incarnating in the same family line to try and shift and change anything and nothing was happening. And you've come in to liberate yourself and it's almost like, do it, do it, do it. Like they're watching you fly to the top and, and swim to the top. It's like, do it, you know? Um, that's what they're referencing. There's so much like ancestors here. And it's like, we have been incarnating for decades and, and centuries to, to, to shift this and it hasn't been happening and you've done it, you know? There's so much love, so much love. And I, I hope you can feel that because I feel like physically you didn't get it. And that's why you understand what love is on a, on a deeper level because spirit taught you what love was. And I feel like you, you would know that your ancestors have a lot of love for you. Um, I just don't think you hear it in the physical and they're wanting to use this space to say it. Um, but it's funny that your mother's higher self is coming through as a collective of females as well, of ancestors, you know. Your mother would have incarnated in this family line a few times as well. Um, it goes back generations. There's a lot of cycles of this pile. Um, pile four. That's why it's been so hard on you to release it. Because with the two of swords at the back of the deck as well, it's like, how do I how do i release this i don't even know where to start um there's also i i don't know whether there's like one sibling you have cut off that's the one that was coming through like angry or frustrated but there's almost another sibling that you've almost like taught to do the same it's like that sibling wasn't even stuck in the mud there's a feeling of the, like a sibling being around you that wasn't stuck in the mud there's a sibling that came and I'm seeing you holding their hand and they're not even stuck in the mud. It's like you almost take the mothering role off your mother. Like uh, you almost use yourself. It's again, self-sacrifice as a shield onto the sibling. And before their feet even get stuck in the mud, you've got their feet. You've got them in your arms and you're bringing them to the top with you. And I feel like as they get older, then they're learning new traits from you. They're learning to tap into their emotions. They're learning to tap into their you know, spiritual side. And I'm not saying they wouldn't have taken on negative traits because even you would have to purge that's what we would have taken on but it's like they they've got all the tools in their hands to shift that too and i feel like they never had to have the burden of being stuck in that mud and they're saying because of you you did that you saved them from that so you've already for 
like lineages in front of you like your descendants i feel like you're saying this isn't going to be passed on to my kids you're absolutely right but it wasn't even there's a sibling or someone it could even be being a cousin someone in your life that like would have been young you would have been young when they were around but there's this feeling of you've already shifted and changed because this this sibling they're rising up to the top with you you've already shifted and changed that for this timeline you've already done that look what you've done so much gratitude and they're clapping as you're going up to the light like yes keep going keep going they, they keep referencing that to me um but as far as your mother mother's physical side they are starting to heal because there's almost this feeling of like they're scared of rejection they're scared of losing you but i feel like it's having them face inward and go okay well they got up there and i hear them saying this this and that so maybe i should try it or they went to therapy i don't know whether they go into therapy but there's a hint to hint in their head that they want to do something to help them that they never would have done before whether it's therapy or maybe they're thinking of cutting something out maybe they're thinking of working out maybe they're thinking of journaling manifesting there's something about that maybe they're turning into spirituality or a religion but there's something about them turning into something that's a vice that would be good for them that can help them the way it helped you and it's slowly happening but that's your effect that's literally your effect that you've had you've alchemized this situation you're a light worker you're a healer that's why you came here we have three cards that <laughs> we literally have three cards that just flopped over um the first one flopped over and we have this beautiful little caterpillar going into a cocoon that says transformation and it's 22 on the clock and it's the number 22 on that card. Look at that. 22 on the clock. And 22 on the card. Look how profound that is. 22, 22. Do you guys see that a lot? Even if you don't, that's a message. That what, What's the number two? That's the energy of the divine feminine. The mother. You have transformed that. 22. I can't believe that. On the clock. 22. The card 22, you've shifted, you've transformed. You're turning into this butterfly. That's why you were seeing that light. That's why that energy for you was becoming crystal clear the more that you do it. And even the crystal that you chose, they're telling me, look at the crystal. And what do we have here? A pink moss, a gate that helps you relieve and release from childhood wounds. That's what this crystal does. I bought that for that exact reason. That's why I bought that crystal. Oh my God. And then it was 22, 22. There's so much spirit around you, starseed family, spirit guides, ancestors, like there's so much that it's like they're cheering you on. It, this is, I wish you could feel the way I'm feeling, it's so beautiful and I hope it brings you peace to hear that. Everyone is so grateful for you, like there, there's so much gratitude. You don't hear it in this lifetime but I'm telling you like I'm so proud of you, I'm so grateful for you. That you've done this. We literally have healing energy. You're planting new seeds now. That's what we have with this healing energy. And we have this like little egg thing here. You're planting new seeds. The seeds that were planted, they were all dying. They were all withering. It was seeds of abuse, neglect, anger, frustration. Um, all of it. And you dealt with the crops. And you're planting new seeds of abundance, of love. Because you understand what love is to a very high degree of love, of nurturing, of healing, of self-worth. You're planting those seeds. That's what you're doing. And whether the family at the bottom of this murky lake feel like they want to invest in those crops too, to buy their own, that's up to them. It's not up to you. It was the message from the higher self of your mother. You feel quite connected to the higher self of your mother um, in this lifetime. Again, what do we have here? The healing symbolism and changes. Changes. The earlier part of your life is going to look very different to the later part of your life. It's almost like watching two different movies that don't even correlate to each other. It's literally like watching, I'm not, I'm just thinking, like, let's just say like two random movies that just don't even make sense to be put together. The Notebook and Spongebob. Like, it's, you know what I mean? They're saying that your childhood is so different from your later life it's going to be so different because you made those changes definitely you went through dark night of the soul i feel like you've been through a big shift that had you alchemize the pain and the anger may even be going through it now and this is confirmation this is where you're headed do you have a pet that's walking with you the little dog here do you have a pet that would have passed away that would have been with you through childhood they would have alchemized and helped work work with you whether you realize it or not. They may even still be with you. They're referencing you growing up. 
and they're walking with you whether it's spirit or whether it's physically that they're, they're walking with you a lot of your pets that you've had and pets that your family have had were members of your soul family or your ancestors incarnate into like i'm not going to incarnate in the physical but i'm going to like you know attach my energy with this animal and i'm going to be guiding them through it too like there's a feeling of that that's why you have such a strong connection to animals as well pile number you learned to speak and love and work through spirit before you ever did anything with the physical so everything you touch in this lifetime is going to be doused in spirit because that's almost where you were born in this lifetime it feels i was born in the arms of spirit I, my heart was born in the arms of spirit i healed through spirit so everything you see your first and foremost energetic body you tap into is spirit the higher realms it's you see that it's you're very high vibrational your soul is i feel like that's why you incarnated with this family i feel like you're very angelic you're like an earth angel you're someone that's come from higher higher realms you feel like arcturian star seeds someone that's in like the 10th dimension type of thing being here in this world especially seeing some of the things you've seen it's not been easy on your heart at all because of how pure your heart is it's not been easy for you pile number oh wow we have letting go yeah i feel like you're currently in a phase where it's like i no longer have anger for you i find peace in this situation i forgive you i understand and why because we have the black bird and the white bird masculine and feminine feminine energy dark and light energy and when we say dark energy it's not the dark is negative but in the dark you know light is one and in the light dark is one they come you know side by side and this whole family they've been craving even your mother's higher self your whole family they've been craving the light they've been cra craving the healing and that light but they were too engulfed in their shadow to do anything about it and you took on the shadow and rebirthed it to bring that light to you and now you exist you know masculine and feminine energies maybe you were too feminine in your feminine energies now you're too now you're balanced with masculine and feminine maybe you took on the more masculine role and you were too caught up in the masculine energies that you neglected the feminine energies but it's like now you're balancing between them you know um and the sun here as well and we have the sun up there oh wow you've really liberated yourself from so much i hope you're proud of yourself we literally have struggle as well with the fish i can see how hard this was for you look at the water it wasn't easy for you to look at the star at the top it wasn't easy for you to float to the top but you did it out of pure love i'm hearing the emily sunday song what i did for love um i'm sure that came up did that come up in the father's higher self pick a card i don't know but i'm hearing emily sunday what i did for love with david gad it's a really beautiful song and it sings like, she sings like i can't believe what i did for love and then she sings crashing and burning into flames or something like that i picked myself up and i'll do it again i can't believe what i did for love what i did for us it's like that so that's it that's what i'm picking up here like you really were like um i'm going to the top and it wasn't like I'm five years old and I'm on a mission. It was like, I'm listening to spirit. I'm listening to this call. I can feel it in my heart. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm listening and I'm going to follow it. And it's brought yourself to liberation. And I feel like the highest of your mother is coming through, as well as the collective of your ancestors to give gratitude. I feel like this reading almost like they were like, you are teaching me. They're coming through like this reading, the way I kind of went over your childhood. They were like, they've taught me um how to liberate and i'm i'm trying my best to put it into action but one thing that i wanted to do is come through as like my higher self in this reading to do my bit as a mother where i can and show almost like a map and put into physical words what you went through in your childhood so you can understand the weight of what you've done you can understand my situation anymore so that you can feel peace when you're liberating and ascending to this light because you are alchemizing for us all and i'm so proud of you they're calling you darling i'm so proud of you darling like that that's what they're referencing and there's just this big hug of like collective souls just coming through big hug i do feel like the females in your family got it the worst um really got it the worst um that's what i'm that's what i'm picking up the divine feminine was distorted and you're bringing it back to its rightful place is the message wow that's powerful the divine feminine in this family line was distorted and you're bringing it back to its rightful place. Wow, that's huge. 
That is huge, pal four. Wow. The smiles, they're showing me big smiles. They're like waving flags, like, wow, go, go, like go to the light. They're, like, they're doing that. They're encouraging you in spirit. You may have days as well where you feel low and depressed and then you just bounce up. It's like, I know what I got to do. And it's them sending you encouragement. I can't do it in the physical, but I'll do it for you in the spiritual. You're so loved, pal four. I hope you know that. I hope you know that. Please take this time because they're making me mellow out now. And they're saying it's for you. I don't know whether you're crying as I'm speaking. You may be. Maybe you're just having wounds come up. But they're almost saying they're keeping me mellow because they're saying take this time as I'm speaking to you here to open your heart out and receive what I'm saying to you. Be in that energy of receiving so you can feel the love. Because they're sending it through me to you. Feel that love. We're all with you. We're all supporting you. We love you. Thank you so much. It's like thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's love. So take this moment to just, or even after this video, like click off the video and just sit and allow that energy to feel because they'll be with you. Sending you that love, okay? So that's what I had for you, Pala, before. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope that it brought you peace. I hope it did what it needed to. Um, I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you, guys.